All right, guys, this is step seven, part two. Step seven, part one is appliances and permanent fixtures. That should already be done. They should already be in your house. Again, you need appliances for your kitchen and you need permanent fixtures for your kitchen and your bathroom. Step seven, part two is you're adding furniture to your floor plan. And you need to have furniture in at least five of the rooms and those are listed on this checklist. Those rooms are your bedrooms, master bedroom, living room, rec room, slash family room, and your dining room. And there are items of furniture listed for each room. For example, for your bedroom, you need to have your twin or queen size bed, nightstand, dresser, chest of drawers, all the way down to your rec room and family room, sofa, coffee table, two end tables, minimum of two other seating items. So in CAD, this is my floor plan. As you can see, I have all of the things so far leading up to step seven, part two in my floor plan. I have my windows and doors. I have my uh, appliances, my permanent fixtures, outdoor living spaces. I have all of that in my floor plan. And now it's time to add furniture. The easiest way to do this is to insert the furniture template into the document that you're working in. To do that, you come up to open and you come down to the public drive, scroll down to where you see Myers M and then FOT floor plan CAD. This will open up into a new tab. So my drawing is here, my furniture is here. To get that over into our drawing, you come down to the bottom right of the template, click once, move your cursor up to the top left, click again, hit control C, come go back to your floor plan, zoom out, hit control V, and then click to paste it. And there is your furniture. Now this is the template that you can use. And what I would advise is copy the furniture, do not move it. What do I mean by that? Say I wanna move the dining room table. Copy, or I saw highlight, and then if I hit move and I move it, it's no longer in the template, which means now I have to go and find it in the floor plan. If I copy by going to highlight, whoops, highlighting it and then copy. All right, I have one in my floor plan now and then I still have one in the template that I can refer back to if I need another table. So again, I would copy the furniture instead of move it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with the king size bed. And this is my master bedroom right here. So I'm going to put a king size bed in the master bedroom. So I go to highlight and then copy. Move it down here to my bedroom. Hit escape to close out of the copy command. And now I need to rotate this. So I highlight it, rotate, I'm going to rotate it along the x-axis and then I can move I can move the bed anywhere I want. So right right about there is a pretty good spot. Now I need a nightstand, so a nightstand or an end table would be fine, but here's my nightstand. I highlight, copy Move it down here in line with the bed. I'm also going to do that on the other side. And there are my two nightstands. All right, I need a chest of drawers and a dresser. So I'm going to put my dresser, highlight it, copy, and I'm going to put that right there. And then I can put my chest of drawers right there. Highlight, 
copy and then put my chest of drawers right there. So there is the furniture to my master bedroom. And again, you can rearrange it however you would like. For your living room, dining room, family room, it's all the same, same process. Again, come up to a couch or sofa, copy it. And I always copy from one of the corners. I don't copy from the middle. I copy from the center point or one of the corners. Same thing with rotate. Whoop. Didn't highlight all that. Highlight. Then I can move that wherever. Again, I always move from either the midpoint or one of the corners. Just helps me. I don't know. Preference. All right, then I got a chair. Chair, so highlight. Again, copying from the midpoint. Want a chair there and a chair here. Highlight and rotate. I don't want to rotate this. Not completely at, along the X axis, but just at an angle. So there's that. And then if I want to put um, a TV, highlight it, move. And of course, the living room always has to be centered around the TV. Whoop. I move that instead of copy. Again, you want to highlight, you want to copy it. Then we can rotate it. And then we can move it along the wall. And we want to do that just off the wall. So there is my living room layout. Now you can add a coffee table, TV stand, whatever you whatever um, you want to include. All of those sizings are within the assignment. So I would have just continued this process until all my rooms are filled with furniture. I need to fill a bedroom here, another bedroom there, dining area. And then um, if I want anything in the garage, I can put that in there. But again, you insert the template and then copy the pieces, the pieces, not don't move them. If you move them, they're out of this template. So just copy them and, and you'll still have them if you want to include those into another room. All right, again, once all your furniture is in your floor plan, take a screenshot of it and submit it to slide four of step seven, part two.